trying not to get too graphic here, but you guys understand the gist of what I'm saying. So Hello, Pisces Cross Watcher. Princess India here. Welcome to your Cross Watchers only reading. Okay. That's always nice. From <laughs> September 15th until October 15th. <laughs> I think I said I was Princess India already, but you know, welcome back to my channel and whatnot or whatever. So anywho, if you're not familiar with how this reading goes, this can resonate, resonate, resonate. Don't judge me. I'm gonna blame Mercury retrograde because it's somewhere around the corner. But anywho, if you're a Pisces person, you can resonate with this reading, but the purpose for me doing it is for a person who is trying to lurk for a cross watch a Pisces person, you know what I'm saying? So anywho, the first card that we have that came out is the devil card. So, I mean, oh, and we have two more cards. I mean, you guys could be, you know, a Capricorn person, or I'm just gonna say it, Cross Watcher. Um, why do I wanna say it like that? I'm just gonna say what I heard. Um, this relationship, this is gonna sound so strange. This relationship can be, sexually debilitating I don't I mean it's your life you know what I'm saying sexually debilitating I'm just gonna say sexually addictive so what I'm seeing with this is this Pisces person that you're cross watching for it's looking like to me that uh, the connection you have with this person is a lot like an addiction you know what I'm saying and I feel it probably has a lot to do with the sex you have with the person, meaning like, um, I don't know, maybe they're really hot. Maybe they're really attractive. It's just something about the uh, sexual chemistry between the two of you. But I would also go as far as to say that the main um, tenet, if you will, of this partnership is very much centralized around the sexual connection. Now, what would that look like? This would mean that um, the thing that you guys spend the most time doing above anything else, above, you know, arts and crafts, you know, cooking classes and things of the sort, is you guys almost always, every time you see each other, have sex. But, you know, if you don't resonate with that and that's not the situation, you think you read, my friend, you know what I'm saying? Anywho, next card that you have is the Hermit card. We have three major arcana. What is really happening in America? So anywho, we have the hermit card and then we have the chariot. <sighs> okay. So I feel a sense of distance between you and this person. It's either that they literally, they either literally purposefully stay to themselves, right? Meaning that there's an element of like off and on here with you guys. Um, or it's just an emotional distance. You know what I mean? That 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 vibration of that is a little bit, maybe 10% of people who are watching this to me. Um, the most part of this to me says that there's a distance between you and this person. It doesn't necessarily have to be a physical distance, but I feel that it leaves my cross watcher always in a place of... Uh, hoping and dreaming it's like hoping and dreaming of the connection being different than it is at present or it has been up to this point you know what I mean but there's still an element here for me of mm, at present it's just it's not what you want so what you want isn't what you're getting and it's almost like settling for the sexual connection if you will because that's the closest that you could get to the person. So this is getting into like subconscious symbolism and things of the sort. So if you think about physical sex, right? This is about to be a whole psychology lesson. Shout out to Joan. Um, <laughs> so if you think about physical sex with a person, it's probably the absolute closest you'd ever possibly be to another human being, right? Try not to get too graphic here, but you guys understand the gist of what I'm saying. So it's pretty much the closest that you can be to another human being. If one truly desires an emotional connection with a person, right, 
and the person isn't emotionally connected to you, then one would settle for a physical connection because it's the closest that you can get to replicate the emotional connection that you really want. However, with this chariot card, it's more or less telling me that uh, it's like you and this person are on two different pages and you desperately want to mend the bridge between the two of you. You know what I'm saying? But I still get this this vibe of like this person just, it, it, something is just hella incongruent. Now, if I were to go back to what I heard, which was sexually debilitating, I would say that it's like a sexual connection with this person debilitates you because I mean, normal human, you know, stuff, uh, sensory perception and stuff. It's like, you know, you feel some type of way and you want to do it. And it seems like a really great idea until after you've done it. And it kind of puts you back in this place where the physical desire is fulfilled, but you're still emotionally unfulfilled. You know what I mean? And it's just like this yearning that I sense of, of wanting to reach out to the person, but not like a no communication reach out type of deal. It's more or less wanting to reach out because it's like yearning for this person to reciprocate, you know, what you're looking for. Boy. And then we have the two of pentacles. So legit, it's like, um, dude, I could be so real about this. <laughs> It's like this two of pentacles to me encapsulates this vibe that I feel. And the reason why I'm slightly concerned about stuff like this is because I'm always concerned about people's mental health, dude. And it's just that constant on the fence back and forth. Like you can't put your feet on the ground and there's always this uh lack of sureness i don't know we're together we're not they love me they don't this is a waste of time no it's not it's like that constant back and forth can literally drive a person mad you know what i'm saying because it it it, it stagnates you so with this falling under the double card i understand what sexually debilitating means because it's almost like we're getting into the realm of like soul ties and things of the sort which is this is really becoming a whole lesson. Um, we're getting into the arena of soul ties and things of the sort because it's like the same thing with a drug addiction, right? If you're addicted to drugs, no drug addict wants to do drugs. Like no person on heroin is like, I, I love heroin and like, I want to do heroin. It's the fact of like, you're doing it to prevent yourself from getting sick. You know what I'm saying? And it's like withdrawal symptoms. Dude, this is so insane. Pisces cross watcher person. I don't know what your sign is. You could be a Capricorn. You could be a Virgo. You could be a Cancer. You know what I'm saying? Or this person could have that in their chart. But it's like legit, the whole vibe I'm getting with this is like it's almost feeling bound and chained to the person, but it's being bound and chained to instability. And it's being, it's like being in a prison, a proverbial prison. And I feel like I've said this before. I don't know if it was in a personal reading or if I said it in, you know, one of the Crosswatcher readings. I'm not sure, but it's like I see it as like it's a prison. It's a, a prison of not getting what you want and being in a permanent state of, of having to dream. It's a desire to move forward and one holding on. Jeez, Louise, there's a judgment card. Y'all got four major arcana. Okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And this is, yeah, I'm just going to say this. Uh, this is a soul tie that you have with this person. If you don't know what soul ties are, I'm going to give you a quick little lesson on it. So if we get into the realm of energy and chakras and, you know, auric fields and things of the sort, every single person that you have sex with ever, right? It's like you have a soul tie with this person. With some people more than others, um, and it's usually because, um, I ain't gonna get into that realm of it, but it's usually because when it falls into this realm of like, oh, good Lord. Okay. I just got a text message. When it comes into the realm of like, um, the domain of soulmates and twin flames and faded connections, like that type of vibe you feel with someone, 
there's certain people you feel that kind of bond with. And then when you sleep with those people, it's literally like, you know, the devil card looks in the right or wait with like the chains and stuff. It's almost like you're bound to this person in a way that you just can't make sense of, but it borderlines on an addiction because, and that's why I feel like drugs is a really great example to use. Because it's like, there's no benefit of being a drug addict to anyone. Like, no human on earth is there no benefit of being a drug addict, right? It's, there's more harm done than good, right? But you still use drugs because there's a dependency that you have on that substance, right? What I'm seeing with my cross watchers for um, this Pisces person is it's that same framework for how you feel with this person. It's like, it's almost like craving something that you know is self-destructive, but it's like with this judgment card here, it's more or less giving my cross watcher people an opportunity to call themselves out of this, if you will. It's like saying that the path is clear for you to move forward from this situation. But of course, you know, I'm not in the business of telling you what to do with your life because it's your life. You know what I'm saying? So it's totally up to you. Ooh, child. Then we have the star card. We have the emperor. And then we have the world card. So here's the thing. This is Buku Major Arcana's Pisces Cross Watcher. This is Buku. You only have one card that is not a Major Arcana. So if I were to say this is an epic, huge soul lesson, this is a, a cycle you have with this person. It's a toxic cycle, and it, it, it will continue to perpetuate this way. You know, it's like, it's not, like, there's a way out of it. Like, you can leave the situation, but it, it's just telling you you can. Like, you don't have to be here and do this. But I more or less feel... um it's this insatiable feeling you feel like where it's like the tie you have with this person, you feel like it has to be here, but it puts you in a submitted position. It's like you are completely out of control in this situation. You were in uh, like a subservient position to this person, but it, it's, it's feeling as if you're helpless to it, but you're not, you know what I'm saying? But it's like being in a prison and the door is open. So more or less what I'm seeing here across Watcher Pisces, and I don't know how this, this got to, to be all of this, but it's more or less, dude, you have a choice in the matter. You can choose to be here or not. Totally up to you. But this is just a reinforcement that if you choose to be here, it's going to keep looking like this. This is what it's going to be because this is just what the, the two of you together is. That's just what it is. And to hope for something different, you know what I mean? Um, it's just, it's almost trying to, you know, make a chocolate cake when you only have the ingredients for a lemon cake. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to get chocolate cake out of lemon cake ingredients because you have the ingredients for lemon cake. So when you put the ingredients together, you're going to get lemon cake. And to sit there and to hope that somehow, some way, chocolate is going to come out of lemon cake mix, it's just not because it's lemon cake mix. And I say that more or less as a euphemism, meaning that this situation is what it is. It has always been this. There's a hope for it to be different, but it's lemon cake and you're wanting chocolate. However, if you're willing to settle for lemon cake, you can totally settle for lemon cake. But if you would like chocolate, you can go get chocolate. You know what I'm saying? So that is what I have for you. I'm going to go over to Vimeo. Yeah, man, we got the three of pentacles at the bottom. I love you, Pisces. I really do. Did I say Pisces? I meant Pisces Cross Watcher. I know that y'all want this so bad. I understand. I totally understand. Um, but again, like I said, 
It's totally your choice. But anywho, um, I'm going over to Vimeo, my website, Patreon, and YouTube members to do the extended where we're going to look at how this person thinks and feels about you because it gives you more information to weigh. I got to turn off these text messages. It's driving me mad. Um, to give you guys more information to weigh in reference to this connection. Hmm. Because, uh, yeah, this is a lot going on. So we're going to see where their headspace is at. And because, you know, this is the thing. I'm doing the dance party really, really quick. Because to give you, like, the discount code, like, for the extended. You know what I'm saying? So it's, like, here. Here. Somewhere. In this vicinity. I think it's there. I don't I think it's, like, here. You know? So use that to get 50% off. And if you are outside of the U.S., there is a code for that too and what is it it's uh it's lurk uk because a lot of people from the uk ask first so i'm sorry if you're from australia or anywhere else but it's lurk uk you know what i'm saying i love your face you know what i'm saying love your face mm -hmm.